Hey guys, I'm Nate, and this is No Longer Rack Your Brains. After much negotiation, myself and Geekbomb have decided to change this segment to Mind Blown. So, it is now time for me to blow your mind about the science on chocolate. I'm Nate from Geekbomb, and welcome to Mind Blown. Before I go into the content of this video, I must remind you that too much of any substance is very bad for you and moderation is definitely key. So after hearing all the facts that I have to tell you, please don't start brushing your teeth in chocolate fudge. Now let's get into some particularly delicious science, because let's face it, all science is delicious. I love your chocolate. I can see that. So do I. I never expected to have so much in common. Throughout this video, I'll be making references to three particular substances. Chocolate itself, cocoa, and also cacao. They are all products of the same plant, known as Theobroma cacao. For the first 3,000 years or so, the fruit was actually known as cacao. That was until Europeans came along, changed a couple of the vowels for no real apparent reason, and it became cocoa. Similar to the name of this plant, there is an awesome chemical which can be found in chocolate known as theobromine. It is similar to that of caffeine, except for the high is a little different. It is said to make you more alert. Not only that, it also acts as a vasodilator. This is something which allows for your capillaries and your arteries and veins to open up. This opening up makes it easier for blood to move through your blood vessels. This in turn decreases your blood pressure. Not only that, but it has some interesting stimulatory effects on particular parts of the male anatomy. That's why, in some instances, chocolate is brought into the bedroom. It doesn't happen for all males, however, but it is said to have some very similar effects to that of Viagra. Warning though, the effects aren't as bad, but are very similar to that of caffeine. It acts as a diuretic, it can give you headaches, and it can also cause nausea. Some other bad news about theobromine is that it can also kill your dog. Now, a lot of people know this already, but theobromine stays in the system of dogs and they result in them overdosing. In fact, it's more toxic for cats, but because cats can't taste sweet, chocolate isn't very appealing to them. One last bad fact about chocolate, um, this is destroying my entire world, and it's that White chocolate actually isn't chocolate at all because it has no cocoa butter in it at all. <laughs> My whole life is a lie. Now it's time to start saying some positive things about it. Eating chocolate may reduce your risk of heart disease and stroke by up to a third. This association is made because eating a lot of dark chocolate, so chocolate that has a higher percentage of cocoa than other chocolate, inhibits something called ACE, or angiotensin converting enzyme. I will just call it ACE for the rest of this video because it's a lot easier. ACE plays a vital role in the regulation of water, so whether your kidneys excrete it or retain it. It is this water retention or excretion which controls our blood pressure. This correlation between ACE, cardiovascular disease, and also the hardening of arteries and blood pressure was done in a study where participants were to consume 75 grams of dark chocolate. So this is chocolate that has 70% cocoa in it. Three hours after the consumption of the dark chocolate, the individuals were tested for their ACE activity, and they found that there was a drop in the ACE activity by 18%. This is a similar effect to what happens to individuals who are on ACE inhibiting medication. Another good thing which is found in dark chocolate is something called polyphenols. This is an antioxidant which fights inflammation in the circulatory system. This results in better blood flow. Chocolate also has something in it called flavonoids. Flavonoids assist in the decreasing of cell damage. Unfortunately, this next fact doesn't help us at all, but I thought I would chuck it in there because I found it very interesting. The husk of the cacao actually has a couple of components in it which are very, very good at fighting off tooth decay and plaque, but unfortunately these components are removed during the process of the cacao fruit. So like I said before, please 
don't start brushing your teeth in chocolate. It might sound delicious, but it's kind of counterproductive. Don't lose your heads. Don't get overexcited. Just keep very calm. And, as usual, I've definitely saved the best for last. So, there is a 65-year-old French gentleman that resembles Santa Claus who appears to be stuck in the 60s, and this man has invented a pill. Due to its particular combination of fennel, seaweed, cocoa zest, and bilberry, not only will it decrease your intestinal bloating and gas production, but it will also make your fart smell like chocolate. I'm definitely not game to try this product for myself, but I'll leave a link in the description below where you can actually go see this gentleman's website, and he does make other products. So that's it for the science of chocolate. I'd like to thank everyone very, very much for all your positive feedback that I've been getting on this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, do whatever you need to do. I'm Nate, and I hope I've blown your mind. Let's start from the top. Studies have shown that women speak around 20,000 words a day on average, which on average, again, is 13,000 words more than men. Scientists have correlated this observation with a protein called FOXP2, which is in higher amounts 